Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We'll be talking about Valve just releasing a big Steam Play update with Proton now based on Wine 4.2. This is a Linux based update. I typically don't cover Linux, but it was a pretty major update, so I did want to take a look at it. And whenever Valve improves Steam, that's always a good thing. Borderlands 3 also just got announced. Is it coming to Steam? We don't know. But based on some of the verbiage that was used, I'm led to believe that the game will be released on Steam. Risk of Rain 2 just dropped on PC, and we'll talk a little bit about that. That's obviously a Gearbox release, and it's an early access on Steam. Looks amazing, by the way. And again, based on some of the verbiage they use, I am led to believe that Borderlands 3 will come to Steam. However, I do still have a little bit of skepticism because they seem to dance around the topic as well. But I do want to talk a little bit about that as well as Borderlands Game of the Year Edition being a free upgrade for those of you that already own the game, so that's great. And then, as I mentioned, Risk of Rain 2 just dropped on PC. That game looks tremendous. It's in early access right now, it's getting an incredible reception, and it's buy one, get one free. If you buy a copy of Risk of Rain 2 right now, you get a free copy to give to a friend. That offer is ending relatively soon, it's $20 to get in, but essentially $10 if you split it with a friend, that is great. And Stalker 2 just had some new artwork posted as well. Nothing much to go on, but that's good to see that that game is still being worked on. First up, Valve just released a big Steam Play update. It's a pretty exciting release for Steam Play on Linux, and it moves the version of Wine use from 3.16 to 4.2, which in itself includes a rather large set of improvements. This is all on GamingOnLinux.com, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. However, this will alter what games are actually playable, and that Valve themselves have said that 166 patches from Proton 3.6 have been upstreamed or are no longer needed. DXVK also saw a version bump, so now it's using 1.01 and F-Audio to join the party. There's a bunch of other improvements too, like better mouse behavior in certain titles, with Resident Evil 2 and Devil May Cry 5 specifically being mentioned, and network fixes being made in games like NBA 2K19, Chrome Troll and gamepad duplication in games that use SDL2 like Rhyme should also be fixed and Proton's special full screen hack should also now work with a GDI based games there's better support for IVR input for controller input in VR and more improvements and new features to the build system more information will be available in the link down below Linux is a service that seems to get kind of forgotten about in the gaming world you look at services like GOG GOG is pretty remarkable however as far as Linux is concerned it makes it a little bit difficult a lot of the other platforms as well it's hard to get Linux to really work with it. In the case of Steam, they've actually implemented some things and they're continuing to support Linux, even though the user base isn't huge. The fact that Valve knows that there is a user base there and there's a user base that does appreciate the improvements, hey, that's something to note. Moving on from that, Borderlands 3 just got announced and unfortunately, we did not get a confirmation on whether or not this game will be an Epic Store exclusive. However, I did want to mention a couple of things. Now, I should know that in the trailer, they did not show the Steam logo at all and whenever they talked about the game, they specifically specifically said the PC release. They never outright said Steam. However, they did also talk about Risk of Rain 2. They used the quote, our good buddies at Valve. And they also did mention that the game was out on Steam. And based on that quote, a lot of people are thinking that, hey, maybe that leads to a positive relationship between Gearbox and Valve. And maybe that'll lead to the release. However, 2K is in charge of the release of Borderlands 3. And 2K Games definitely won't be shying away in terms of making any sorts of agreements. I also point you to the fact that Borderlands Game of the Year Edition was announced as a free upgrade for existing PC players that own Borderlands. That's cool and all. And it's great to see that it will be a free upgrade. However, note this, 2K Games made a little agreement with GameStop to make the physical copy of that game exclusive to GameStop. Just that alone should make you think where 2K's head is at with a release like this. They could easily as well make an exclusive agreement with Borderlands 3 for the Epic Store. I think cooler heads will prevail and Borderlands 3 will release on Steam. I really shouldn't say cooler heads shall prevail. They're making a business decision. It's up to them, honestly. Cooler heads are gonna make the decision of it going to the Epic Store because right now if they're judging things based on fan backlash they would just release the game on Steam however there will be more information revealed about the game on April 3rd I imagine that's when we're gonna know about if this game is gonna be on the Epic Store or not and if it's gonna see a one-year timed exclusivity because if they announce it right here if they made that announcement at PAX think about the backlash they would have gone think about how many boos they would have gone from the crowd it would have been a pretty big disaster so I can understand if the game was going to be an Epic Store exclusive that from a promotional standpoint, it's a very, very good idea to wait a little bit. You're hyping up Borderlands so hard, and those that are coming to PAX, that's a big PC-centric audience. Honestly, for the consumer base that does go to an event like PAX, I would say the majority of them are PC gamers. 
Being someone that has gone to PAX in the past before, yeah, you'll see a lot of PC gamers there, and that's generally the consumer that you'll come across. And if you announced that Borderlands 3 was an Epic Store exclusive, I just don't know how that would have been received much better of an idea to wait until April 3rd if you're gonna make an announcement like that. But we still don't know. As far as the game itself, it does look incredible. We haven't seen a Borderlands game this generation. We haven't seen a Borderlands game in, what, five years in the last one pre-sequel? It was more of just an enhancement from Borderlands 2. And it didn't really offer us anything new or compelling. It was a good game. However, Borderlands 3, a legitimate third entry, a legitimate new game. And the gameplay has looked stunning. And we haven't even seen much of it. The official reveal trailer is only like three and a half minutes long. I'm sure when we get the full reveal on April 3rd, we're gonna get a lot more information. And it does look like the game will be out 2019. Gearbox didn't know that 2019 is the year of Borderlands, so we'll see how that pans out. And I will keep you guys posted on any sort of exclusivity. But speaking of Gearbox, they also released Risk of Rain 2. The game is going the route of 3D. Visually, it looks stunning. It is in early access right now, $19.99. However, if you buy a copy right now, you will get an extra copy to give to a friend. That is going to end very soon. You have until March 30th, 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. That is an awesome value. And guys, I was not expecting Risk of rain to make the 3d transition smoothly but by all accounts it has made a very smooth transition right now 203 user reviews have been posted 99 percent positive so that is quite good the game just released and a couple of my friends are super super excited for this they loved risk of rain one risk of rain two going the 3d route is pretty exciting and again a buy one get one free offer that's great and given the fact that the game is early access you would think by the time it's ready to release it's actually gonna go up in price not down so right now you can essentially get it for ten dollars and by the time it's released it probably will bump up to thirty dollars or even forty dollars given that this game is a little bit more bigger budget than the first title they can get away with charging a 30 35 or even 40 dollar price point but right now again you are essentially getting the game for $10 if you split the cost with a friend. As far as system requirements go, minimum you're looking at an i3-6100 or an FX-8350. 4 gigabytes of RAM, a GTX 580, or an HD 7870. I don't know how those necessarily compare. I believe those are different generation GPUs. I think the 580 is considerably more powerful than the HD 7870, but I might be wrong on that. I think the 500 series came alongside the 6000 series. So generationally, those are a little bit off, so I kind of don't like when they do that. But nonetheless, those are the minimum requirements. Recommended requirements are a little bit more beefy. i5 4670K or a Ryzen 5 1500X, 4 gigabytes of RAM. GTX 680 or an AMD HD 7970. So four gigabytes of RAM for both minimum and recommended is pretty remarkable. You hardly ever see games like that, so that's pretty great. And the game only requires four gigabytes to download. It's a Risk of Rain 2 available right now. $20, split it with a friend, and you will get it for $10. If you have any interest, I would get it ASAP. As far as the community hub goes, 18,981 players playing it right now. I do believe it's the top seller on Steam. And also, lastly, I do want to note that a new promotional image was revealed for Stalker 2. Stalker 2 still in development. It looks like the game will be coming to fruition. Hopefully sooner rather than later, Stalker is one of the PC-exclusive franchises of a single-player game as well that was received very very well whenever the game goes on sale and whenever there's a steam sale i always go to bat for stalker and all of the games are, that are available shadows of chernobyl clear sky and call of pripyat those are all really great games a lot of people will compare it to fallout however it's a lot more hardcore a lot more challenging and in my opinion a lot more immersive than the recent fallout titles no slight on fallout fallout 3 of course remarkable game as is new vegas fallout 4 was even i but stalker does take it to another level so if you do want a more difficult experience a more challenging and immersive experience i think you will dig the stalker titles but cool to see that that Stalker 2 is getting some sort of updates. I think they noted a 2021 release window for Stalker 2, and with a release window like that, I'm inclined to believe that this game is going to get pushed back a couple of times, and we'll see if it ever even really does come to fruition. I'll keep you guys posted on that, but that's going to conclude this video. Again, Valve just dropped a pretty big Steam Play update. I know a lot of my viewers aren't Linux users, but for those of you that are out there, this is improving the experience quite a bit. Borderlands 3 has had its official revelation. We still don't know if it's an Epic exclusive, if it'll be out on Steam, but I'll keep you guys posted. And we do have more information that's going to be revealed on April 3rd. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is going to be a free update to PC players. Risk of Rain 2 is out right now. Buy one, get one free. And Stalker 2 gets a new piece of promotional image. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.